there, and welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today's training is going to be on Timeline JS, a tool from the Knight Lab at Northwestern University. Uh, Timeline JS allows you to build uh, multimedia timelines uh, using only a spreadsheet, uh, and you can uh, take and embed those into a web page. They are mobile responsive and can uh, uh, easily uh, be turned into uh, a really nice way to tell a story, not just for uh, journalistic purposes, but also for presentations and things like that. Um, journalisttoolbox.org, you can find many tools there. Uh, if you scroll down the left-hand rail here uh, to the digital journalism section, uh, the digital, digital tools page has a lot of resources on it, including a lot of training videos embedded into it. Um, uh, and one of the tools on there is uh, Timeline JS. You can find uh, the link to Timeline JS there. Um, uh, you can also Google Timeline JS, and you'll wind up at timeline.nightlab.com, which is where the uh, tool resides, right here. Uh, and uh, Timeline was one of uh, Night Lab's first tools uh, that they built, um, and it, it's really, really nice little embed. It looks really nice into a page. You can see this one that they created here. That's in embedded into their homepage. The timeline runs across the base of the space. It is mobile responsive, so it's swipeable on a phone or a tablet. Um, it is, uh, you know, being responsive, it uh, also resizes itself in the browser size. Um, so uh, it'll work on a vertical presentation as well as horizontal. It's a little better, you know, with the arrows on a, a desktop and in kind of this wide presentation. Uh, you can embed video, photos, audio, uh, all kinds of different multimedia in here. Google Maps will embed in here quite nicely. Um, and they have a little instructional video down here on Timeline. Uh, we're gonna walk through it here too. And at the bottom of the page, uh, we have examples uh, of how different timelines have been built and how mainstream media uh, are using them. Um, a few examples I'm gonna show you real quickly of things you can do with Timeline. Um, we did a uh, recap of the World Cup, uh, the rich history of the World Cup, and you can play through here the first World Cup and uh, um, World War II and the Ramey Trophy and the Nazis uh, searching for it uh, and trying to steal it. Um, you know, so a lot of photos, but also a lot of video embeds into these pages as well. This is a history of prohibition uh, that uh, some students of mine did. They did a story on the prohibition bars in Chicago that are still open. Um, so they did a broader uh, look at, at uh, Prohibition uh, nationwide uh, and uh, how it came to be and how it worked out through the war and all of that. You can also use it for obituaries. Uh, a couple of media outlets used it for a obituary on Whitney Houston. <coughs> and here's her career as it played out over the years. Some music, uh, music videos, things like that, key points in her life. So uh, it's good for anything where you're trying to tell something historically over a period of time. It can be just a few uh, days, weeks, months, years, as in uh, the case with uh, Whitney Houston's obit here. It's kind of a visual obit. Um, I once had a student do a really interesting project. Uh, he recapped 9-11-2001. Uh, uh, almost minute by minute, you know, every few minutes he had a new time on there. So uh, you can do it by dates. Uh, you can also break it down by time, even down to the second, um, which is really cool uh, with the spreadsheet that you build this in. Um, so we're going to actually do a, a little exercise here, and I'll show you how the uh, spreadsheet is set up for Timeline JS. Uh, and we'll use the example with this World Cup one that I'm working with right here. Um, so uh, to start Timeline JS, you just hit the green button, make a timeline. Um, it asks you to get a spreadsheet template. So you click on that and you click on make a copy. You always want to go in, this is a, a step many people uh, mess up. Uh, the first thing you want to do here is go to file uh, and then you want to uh, publish this to the web. You only have to do this once. Hit the green publish button, click OK, and now it's published live to the web. As soon as this spreadsheet is live on the web, uh, you can rename it, and I'll call it World Cup History. And you can grab this link at the very top. This link is uh, key in building your timeline, because you can bring that timeline link back, the spreadsheet link back, paste it in here, 
hit return, and then preview, and it will preview whatever's in the spreadsheet on here. This is how your timeline will look and play. Now I have some dummy text in here uh, that you can see here. The green or the blue row, excuse me, uh, is uh, your top slide, your first slide. And then everything underneath it has a date with it, a starting date, an ending date, uh, and then some uh, text and a headline. Media goes here, you know, photo, video, or whatever. Uh, your media credit. Um, and then if there's a caption with it, you can put that here. Uh, one thing you never want to touch up here is this little uh, title uh, number here. But the rest of this is all editable, and you can take out and change the design and look uh, of the different uh, uh, templates. But everything is loaded into this spreadsheet. Um, so I'm going to create a, the first couple of slides here just to show you how it works. And uh, my opening slide will be this uh, photo uh, of uh, Spain's uh, uh, team. And it'll have a little text, opening slide text with it. And a headline. You're going to edit HTML here in here too. If you wanted to make your byline strong in your bold face, you can do so. Okay, so now you've got a headline and you've got some text in there. I'll grab this photo that I found. It's rights free photo. It comes from Wikimedia Commons. Put that you just double click in this media area and click all and delete drop my link in there uh, the media credit goes to wikimedia commons cut line spain hoists the rene trophy Okay. Now it auto share uh, auto saves this, so you don't have to keep sh uh, saving it. Um, and, and being your first slide, you don't need to put a, a, a start uh, date or an end date in here. Um, and I'll go ahead and go back to here and hit preview. And there's my opening slide. Okay. Now you'll repeat this step many times for your uh, subsequent uh, uh, dates and uh, uh, content. I'll do the second slide here just so you can see how it looks with the date. If you want to put the date in here, 1830, it starts with 7, 16. It ends with thirtieth of a month. This is the first World Cup. Paste your new text in there. Now I'm going to move in my artwork. In this case, it's going to be newsreel footage from FIFA. FIFA owns the rights to it. Um, these are actually old movie newsreel footage. Credit goes to FIFA. Always want to credit all of your content. Where did it come from? You're able to do this because you can link off to multimedia, obviously. There's no copyright issue there. Maybe a caption, new drill footage, kind of explains it a little bit. I'm going to go back to my timeline, hit preview, and I have an opening slide, my second slide, right there. Okay. The reason it's showing this second uh, uh, slide in here is because it's other date. Um, once we change this date uh, to uh, a, a different month and, and year, um, it uh, will move over. You can put the dates, it's really interesting, in, in any order. 
Um, uh, you know, I could put 1930 and then uh, 1907 and 1890 here, uh, and it would uh, uh, automatically resort them uh, by the date, uh, by the year date, which is really, really cool feature to have. Um, so now I'll go back and preview it again. It should go right into the first slide right there. And then you just keep going through and, and keep updating, you know, so you don't have dummy text in here like this. Um, you just keep going in and, and adding more. If you need to add more rows, you can add them down here. Um, you can add up to a thousand rows if you want to, which I just did there. Or you can change the little field to uh, 10 rows. Really, ideally, uh, your slideshow uh, would want to only go uh, about 40 slides uh, total. Um, after 40 slides, it starts to have some load time, things like that. Um, we once did the history of the uh, Super Bowl uh, that went up to about 52 slides and, you know, it got pretty heavy toward the end there. Um, but if you keep it, you know, relatively small, um, uh, it'll load pretty quickly even, even on a phone and, and look, look and play uh, quite nicely. Um, once you have this all done, um, all you have to do is grab this link, you know, once you've uh, hit preview in there. Uh, there's an iframe embed code right here. Again, it's responsive automatically with 100%. Uh, so you can share the link or embed it right into your web page. Uh, like I say, it looks really good embedded at kind of this wider width like this, uh, where it covers the whole width of the page as opposed to trying to fit it into a, you know, maybe a smaller column like this. So that in a nutshell is Timeline.js. A uh, great little tool for presentations uh, for uh, telling uh, stories over a, a time period, uh, either long or short, um, and uh, really good at embedding multimedia, um, a really nice teaching tool for those of you who are college professors and, and want to share this tool with your students. That's all I had for now. We'll see you next time.